we gotta win this flip. We gotta win this flip, chat. Great start. Let's go, daddy, come on. But we can win, why not? Why can't we win? Let's go. Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another stream here on the Pokestaples channel. Thanks so much for joining me on this beautiful Sunday, and it is a beautiful Sunday. It's a very special day. We're cozied up, it's minus 10. It's late February Sunday here, up in the north, in Canada. We're gonna jam with the Jack-10 suited. When is it bad to max late Reg? In freeze out tournaments, I think it's fine pretty much always. Hey, let's go. We're gonna call the all-in ace nine against ace eight against Alexander Hleb. Very unlucky for Alexander to run into ace nine for what it's worth, but they chop. So that's very lucky as well. So in theory, you are sort of like indifferent here. In practice, I'm gonna fold. I think people don't three bet enough in this spot. They flat, we bet, and then we jam turn. We have so many value bets here. Raising out of the gun. We have aces, kings, queens, jack-10 suited, ace-king, ace-queen, king-queen, ace-x suited. We have all of that, right? They call on the big blind, so they have hands like queen-3, like queen-4, like king-7, you know. So we just bet and we jam the turn, turn our pair of fives into a bluff, and really kind of wreck them with most hands, you know? Like, yeah, we're going to bust, or we're, we're going to double them up when they when they call preflop with, like, ace-8 offsuit or something. But on 10 blinds, a lot of those hands are going to go all in preflop, you know? We are all in here with eights. Uh... It's definitely profitable, but the question is, do they call sevens? Yeah, probably they do. So I think I think we go with it here. With eights, it's nice to fold out King Jack, but we also do want calls from worse hands. I think sevens call here. Ace Jack is all in here against Ace Eight. I mean, what a flurry of activity! Wild. Minus four. Yeah, we're indifferent against a pot size bet here. Uh, I'm gonna fold. <laughs> I mean, I'm overfolding a little bit probably, but that's okay. This is the line. But once it goes jam call, then we fold. I think ace nine's a call, and then ace eight is like. It depends. Bubble ish. Sevens are pretty good. I think we're just gonna go with it here. As the squeeze. Wow. Fold, fold. Now we're gonna call off here, getting over two to one. But first cash on the board, 1250. And we chip up here to 200,000 in this 55 final table. I think I'm going to fold this out of position. This opponent covers us. It's a pretty junky hand. I think it's all right. What do we do here with queen 10? It's close. We do have two opponents that cover us in a reshove stack. So I think just fold is fine. Stay out of the way. Ace king, pretty good. Just rejam against the button open. Ace king offsuit. We're in the money, by the way. Red fell. I missed that. 122 cashed. All right. Uh, defend. So, good flop. What's the nightmare? If we check raise and they jam, it's a nightmare. But it's a nightmare we must endure, to be honest. Because we do need to raise, I think. Ooh, very tough spot with eights. Very tough spot. Especially with ICM. I think it's a fold with ICM. It's not a bad three bet shove bluff here with ace nine against an appropriate assumed range here, but it's probably best to stay snug on this final table. So I'm gonna fold. I think if you were to look up GTO ranges with the ICM in this spot, we would go all in with this hand. I like not doing it here though, because this range is probably not as wide as it should be opening, and they probably won't fold to three bets as much as they should. That's, that's my guess for an average opponent in the $55 tournament. They probably have that bias by a couple percent both ways, which makes our hands not as great. Uh, a raise, a jam for 11 blinds. We cover with ace-queen, but we're going to have a player all in here. I think it's a fold. You know, It's like the line. We would get it in. It's the line under non-ICM. With ICM, I don't think there's enough upside again. Just stay pretty snug. Thanks for the subscription and support. Fives, ace-deuce. Ace-deuce does it. Really does it. Three of six, 137 cashed. Just jam. Okay, it just takes more brain power for the viewer, in my opinion, when swapping around. I feel like the average viewer these days is different to 3 million versus 30K, but I get the rationale. I mean, it does take brain power for the viewers to convert the stacks into big blinds uh, for what it's worth, but like, it comes down to the purpose of why I'm running this stream. And like, I'm glad that people can find value from it, but the primary purpose is not as a lesson, right? Like, I'm not here to coach. People can find value from it, and like I'm sharing my thought process, and hopefully people find value. But really, the overarching goal is I want to grow the game of poker. I want to showcase the game of poker in a positive light, uh, in a way that people enjoy it. And so, 
Like if it's a training video, yeah, I'm gonna put it in the big blinds, right? But it's not, it's much more about like, let's make something enjoyable for people to watch about poker. So that's, that's my, that's my top level reasoning for doing things, which is why we don't have the big blinds. I think I have the coolest piece of poker software you've ever seen today. It is called Hybrid Poker brand new piece of poker learning software where you test your score against myself, against Daniel Negreanu, against Bill Perkins, and see how you score against the three of us, as well as other poker players as well. But Hybrid Poker learns about you, the player, which is, this is really cool. As Hybrid Poker gets to know you, it's going to tell you what to work on. There's a link to the IQ test down below. Try it for free. I think you'll like it. So try it out. And look at this, we've laddered from six left down to three left. And then we're three handed here for all the marbles. 277 cash here, trying to take it down. Trying to go all the way, go the distance. Steve OAB, what's up Steve? Thank you for the good luck, man. Appreciate you, Steve. Fives, okay. We gamble. We gotta win this flip. We gotta win this flip chat. Great start with the spade backup. Let's go. Let's go, Dottie, come on. Ace King King seven, seven to get heads up. Seven to get heads up. We're heads up chat. Look at the ladder. That's why I like being really on the conservative side. Small stakes final tables like that because people just like really get it in. Not that this opponent did anything wrong, but the six, we just flew through those six really quickly, you know? And now we're heads up. Like, yeah, at a five to one chip disadvantage, but we can win. Why not? Why can't we win? I'm gonna check raise here. We're check raising a lot of hands if we're choosing this hand, but there's so many hands our opponent's gonna continue with. On the 6-7 board, like every gutter, every flush draw, every straight draw. If they decide to bet a 7 or a 6 on the flop, they're not going to fold do a check raise. I just think there's value, even with a junky king like king 5 there. I wouldn't check raise if we're like 40 blinds deep. Probably have some leads on this turn, but not with this hand. We don't want to see this so much. Uh, we obviously prefer a call. But we call a check raise, ace in the turn. This is a good card for our range. Um, check, check though. With our hand, I think it's a check, check. Nine on the river is not good. Nine, eight straight draw just made a pair that beats us. Jack eight just made a straight. Jack nine just made a pair. Nine, six just made a pair. Eight, six just made a straight. And backdoor clubs just got there. So yeah, it's a sucky card, basically. Uh, and we fold and move on. Bad river. Turn saved us money, maybe. The limp jam, I ya. Uh... Check, check, uh, for now. Take it down, that's good. Here we go, heads up, all in with the seven high flush draw against the Jack Deuce. Hey, let's go, get there with the six, baby. Come on, we're back in this heads up. D Williams, that's a big resub. Holy, 88 months, that's a lot. Thanks for your support, D. Williams. Had a huge cash game win last night. Won over 400, playing 50 and L. Hope the run good continues. Uh, comes for you today, bud. Good luck to luck. Step, ship, step hard. Thanks, man. Eight buy-ins. Not easy to do. <laughs> 50 and L up to 400 stack. Pretty solid, man. Congratulations, D. Williams. Thanks for your support as always, man. Appreciate you. Been around since the very beginning. 88 month resub. Hearts out, guys. Thanks, man. Check call, check call, check call here. Like most ASEX raises pre-flop, right? There's not a lot of it that checks back, so we're very high on our range. We just call down here. And we we win, which is good. Against Queen 10. I think we bet and then check river. Getting value from 5x and from 6x and from like 8x draw, 4x draw kind of stuff. Nice. All right, here we go. The thing about satellites is every site does that with satellites, right? Like instead of the tournament just overlaying by itself, it's better if the satellites overlay in that the people that are collecting the overlay are the people that are playing satellites, which are generally, you know, people that are more playing poker for fun as opposed to professionals. So it's just more of that kind of player pool. So it's better if they reap the rewards than, than one of their pros that just take the money out of the, the ecosystem. Uh, and yeah, the satellite has a chance to hit the guarantee, which then means the tournament's not gonna overlay, you know? So yeah, most of the time, the overlay you find in big promoted tournaments are in satellites as opposed to the actual event. We're uh, still in limp territory with uh, 24 blinds, but maybe check. I was thinking about betting, but I decided to check. I wish I would have bet because now we have eights and sevens with a king high. 
Yeah, check. I mean, we bet ace high, but like king is probably a little too weak. Cool, take that down. Into the raising here. Not folding sixes, pre-flop, anyways. Turn were indifferent against a bet, and then river is tough, you know. Uh, they check, we check. Check down, and we beat queen six, let's go. Check, check. What do you think of online pros who say poker isn't gambling? I think whether poker's gambling or not is an argument about the definition of gambling. What pros are saying when they say that is that poker has a lot less risk than the average person assumes it does. It has a lot of variance, but your results over a long period of time are going to correlate around how skillful you are. I think it's a definition debate, and it's not that interesting, I would say. This is a thin value bet, I think, check. Because someone that just plays poker for fun, it you know, that isn't like, doesn't have a win rate and know they don't have a win rate, then it is gambling, right? You know, they're wagering money in a way to where their only chance of winning is by pure chance. And they might win by pure chance, but you know, often they're not going to. But then they can, they can implement elements of skill to where those aspects of skill are much more chess-like than they are slot machine or blackjack like you know to where you're trying to strategize against your opponent so it's very murky the way that the average public thinks about gambling is not fair to poker but the way that people think about skill games it's also not representative completely it's in the middle it's its own sort of thing uh call check 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 flop we call turn take it down with the eights I feel like we've just really outflopped and turned our opponent in every yeah i mean we've just had them dominated so often it depends on the skill of the the user and it depends on how much risk quantifies gambling for you and in some ways it kind of depends on the intent you know like if you are taking poker like an intellectual pursuit and you're just bad at it it's like well you weren't gambling the effect was loss but it was failing at investing you know so the intent is kind of part of it as well. When pros play poker, they are not trying to gamble. Their intent is to profit. We are all in with ace five off suit. Here we go. To take it down, to win the tournament. Let's go chats. Beautiful stuff, baby, 646. Nice way to start the Sunday. Should we make a little highlight of that? You know what, YouTube, Facebook, I think you deserve it. Nice little highlight early on Sunday. Let's go.